Hello everyone, just a quick video here on how to work with PDFs in the Microsoft Whiteboard. If you want to see a full video on the new features of the Microsoft Whiteboard, I'll link a video down below that goes through everything in depth. But this one here is just on PDFs. Let's go have a look. I'm going to start off with a blank whiteboard, but of course you could add this to any existing whiteboard. And when I go to the ellipse, I'm going to choose Documents. When I choose the document, I can pull it from an online source or I can grab documents from my system. I happen to have a document in here, let me just find it, where I have some PIP deck documents in here. They're, these are really great, by the way. And these are cards that I will use to develop workshops or stories and such. So it's going to go into the PDF that I have of these cards, and it's going to select all of the pages as separate elements. So you'll see here that I have all of the different uh, cards here, in this case, uh, PDF documents. I could select them all, or maybe I'll just grab one of those pages and I'll insert it into the whiteboard. And now this is on my whiteboard as a PDF. I can go in and do all sorts of things here. So for example, I could point out, you know, maybe I'm having a conversation with a team on developing a workshop and we want to talk about the five whys. And then we could put some notation on here that, you know, we really want to focus on that. And then we want to say the big thing here is we're going to create a workshop to get unstuck here. And I'll put a link, by the way, if you're interested in the PIP decks, I'll put a link down below on those as well. And you can see here that I've got all of these different annotations on this PDF document. And when I move the PDF document, notice that my annotations move with the PDF document. And I can go in and if I do an erase, so I'll go to the eraser. So I'll just grab the eraser here. And when I grab the eraser, you'll notice that it will, grab this here, it will only erase the annotations on the PDF page, not the actual PDF itself, not the underlying PDF. So this means that I can reuse things on the PDF all the time. So I could go in and I could say, now let's talk about Rose, Thorn, and Bud. And I could say, but we will not talk about the five whys right now. We're finished with that. We want to focus in on the the rose, the thorn, the bud. And so you can see here that this really gives me a lot of flexibility in terms of how I use the Microsoft Whiteboard with PDF documents. I can do the same thing with images. So I can come in and grab some images here as well. We'll upload an image that I might have here. Let's see if I have anything in here. So we'll grab the subscribe button. Oh, how convenient. So this here is a document with the subscribe button in here. I can go in and I could make annotations here as well. So I could say it's so important for you to subscribe and we can do that as well. You know, that was unplanned actually. I, I had no idea that that was a subscribe button. So anyways, hopefully you've made it this far. Sometimes when you say subscribe, people get annoyed and click off the video. So I hope you found this useful. Let me know in the comments down below. If you're interested in the PIP decks, I'll put a, a link for them down below as well. But the whiteboard with PDF documents is super easy to use and quite useful in a classroom or a presentation setting.